Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. As you guys could tell by the title of this video, it's going to be about what do people find intimidating about you, okay? So I saw this topic on like other readers' channel and I thought that was something interesting that I could do myself. So yeah, we're going to get started. So pile number one is going to be the um, Black Obsidian. Pile number two is the Rose Quartz. Um, and pile number three is the green adventuring. Okay. So you could pause this video if you have to, or you feel called to, to meditate on the pile that you feel most drawn to, and then I'll see you at your pile. Hi, pal one. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. As you guys could tell by the title of this video, it's going to be about what do people find intimidating about you, okay? So if you picked the um, black obsidian, this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. Okay. So I smudge because I just don't want to pick up the energy from previous reading I've done and reading that I do on myself, okay? So we're going to use the Crystal Tarot deck. In the middle is going to be, um, it's the Wide Awake deck and the Moonology deck, okay? So, pile number one. What do people find intimidating about you? And it could be anything and you might not like find like you're intimidating, but it's just how people view you, okay? So what do people find intimidating about my pal number um, one? What do people find intimidating about my pal number one? Whoa, okay. What do people find intimidating about my pile number one, Spirit? Okay. Okay, so we have the five of uh, pentacle, the six of cups, Um, sorry, five of pentacle in reverse, six of cups upright, the five of cups upright, uh, temperance in reverse and the strength upright. Um, so what I'm getting is like your ability to get it. I, I heard like get it out the mud. So your ability to come from like the struggle and still make it out on top. Like because the five of pentacle is in reverse. So you're coming out of like poverty or like um, lack because upright is lack, right? Uh, five of uh, pentacle is like being left out in the cold, lacking money, no financial stability. But in reverse is coming out of that. So you're able to transmute yourself and learn from your mistakes and come out on top. Like no matter what situation that you encounter in life, you're able to come out on top financially. And we have the six of cups. Um so I feel like it's people from your childhood that find that intimidating. Like it's people that know you, that know what you went through in life, like the struggle that you went through in life and what you had to conquer in life in order to get where you are now. These people find that very intimidating because you guys come from the same spot, the same circle, and you made it out of the gutter and they didn't. Okay. And they find like you are 
Temperance is like um, cooperative when it's upright. But in reverse, I feel like you don't give a ish. Like, I don't, I'm trying not to swear. So you don't give a ish about like people from your past and where you came from. Like if you came from lack, because I feel like five of cups, like maybe you had like a lot of challenges in your life, heartbreaks in your life. Um, Because we have the strength here. So you had to overcome a lot of, um, I heard section eight. I don't know why I heard section eight. Okay. Maybe um, I'm not from the States, so I don't know why I heard section eight and maybe it might resonate with somebody. Maybe that's where you grew up or where you're from. So maybe that like people thought like you will always be there and like you grew up in like in very tough situations. So you're like the, the rose that grew out of the concrete. Okay. That's what I'm getting. You, even though you came from a tough situation or maybe the like you um come from in maybe in your country like somewhere that's very poor or like you came out on top like i feel like you had to fight and you had to like um really work hard to be where you are and you have like heart so strength you have heart you have like inner um stamina i heard stamina so you're able to like um endure like the toughest battle so like and people like why they're intimidated by that is because the way you look people would never tell that you have that inner strength because it's hidden it's not like it's not physical okay it's not like you people cannot judge you by how you look okay because they probably like that's why they're they underestimate you so that's the reason why like they're intimidated because at the beginning the they underestimate what you could do, but after when they see what you could actually do, it's like, whoa, like this person is actually way better than I thought. Okay, this is what I'm getting. What do people find intimidating about my pal? See the tower, like unexpected, like you are unexpected to these people. Like the strength that you possess is like, whoa, out of this world. Like they could ne they never thought somebody like you because they judge you by the way you look. So they never thought somebody like you could have that much power. And knowing where you come from, oh my God, like how did this person made it out? Like, oh my God, like it's so, they're astonished. Like they can't believe it. And it makes them intimidated because they don't have that. They, they put out a front. They pretend like they're strong, but really they're not, okay? Really they're like this. They're full of regret, full of like, what if I should have done, like, what if this, what if that, like, or, oh, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that. No, you, you don't, you don't think like that. You, you go for what you need. You don't let your circumstances in life stop you from like going where you want to go. You don't stop. What? Do people find intimidating? You don't give a lot of your time. You keep to yourself. You know how to harness your energy and you know how to make choices that are going to benefit you. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're like, you know, this is Gemini energy, um, lover, the lovers. So here we have temperance in reverse. So meaning you don't cooperate with people. If they don't, like if they're not going to help you get to where you need to be in life, you're not going to you're not going to waste your time. You're going to keep moving. You're not going to let them stop you. Even if they call you like whatever, they're trying to like stop you in your tracks or try to distract you. You're not going to let that happen. You don't give too much of your time. So because of like how you're so focused on your goal, people find it hard to like approach you. Because we have the page of pentacle, you don't open up that much to people. It's only like people that like, because it's because they know you from the past. That's why they know that you got you like you come from struggle, not because they know your personal life or personal business, but it's because maybe they grew up in the same neighborhood as you. And now it's like, whoa, you you surpass them. And they're shook because they never thought that you would be the one surpassing them. Do you understand? Because they probably thought that they were like um, above you. And I saw strength again. What do people find intimidating about my pal number one in spirit? What do people find intimidating about my pal number one? What do people find intimidating? Oh, 
Okay, so we have the hangman in reverse, the two of a wand, and the two of sword, okay? So normally the two of sword is confusion, but here I'm getting more that you, you're, it's more laser focus. I know the lady's blindfolded and she has, or the man, it's because I don't see, it could be unisex, so it could be male or female watching, it doesn't have to be gender specific, but I know this is like really confusion, we refer this card to confusion, but I'm, what I'm getting here, because the hangman is in reverse, you're clear about where you're going, you have plans for the future. You know like what exactly the next step that you have to take. That's why you're not like letting anybody come between you and your goals. Your focus. This is more I'm getting more focus. I heard like I know it's like confusion, but me, I'm not getting that from this card because of these two other cards that's here. Because I have to read them together and the energy that I'm getting. So I'm getting that people are like very like because them. They wouldn't take a chance. They wouldn't like go for their dream or follow their dream or they're, they're scared to make a mistake and look like, and they're scared that their mistakes are like shown to the world. But you, you don't care. You don't care who's watching you. You don't care who's paying attention to you. You're just doing you and you're living your life the way you want to live your life. But you're, you're like more on the quiet side about your goals. You don't broadcast your goals. You don't like talk about it. But it's just people that like, I feel like it's people that actually, like I said, people that know you, that understand like that you went through a lot of things, but that you actually made it out. And that now they're like watching it and wondering like, how did you even come out of the situation? And they're intimidated because like you have a great mind. You're able, like you're a visionary. You're able to see far in the future. You're like, you're not the person like, when you make plans, you make plans for five, ten years to come. So that's why you're never like bugged down. You're never trapped in, in your mind. You're always able to see it a bigger picture. Okay, you don't let things hold you back. You don't let your lack of support hold you back. Even if you know that it's going to take you ten years to accomplish a goal, you're still going to go for it. And these people, they could see that. And that's why they're intimidated by you. Because they know that you have the potential to make it out and you have the potential to go really far. Right now, you're already further than they are. And they're like wondering like, whoa, how did you do that? And they could see how far you could go. And that's intimidating to them because they could, like, they're comparing themselves to you saying like, like we came from the same spot yet you're further ahead than me. How come? So there's a little bit of envy here too. What do people find intimidating about, oh wow, they're, they find your knowledge, your wisdom. Yeah, they find your knowledge like intimidating. And like also the three of cups is here. These people want to get back into your life. They want to get back closer to you so that way they can learn from you because they see that you're very wise. So that's intimidating to them because like, for, I feel like for your age, I feel like it's really your age. I feel like whoever picked this pal is younger than these people that are intimidated by you. And it's like, I feel like you're so far ahead for your age that for them, it's like, where did I go wrong? How come this person who's younger than me is further ahead than me? They're more wise than me. I should be the one like in that position, not them. So they're, like I said, there also is a sense of envy here. So they're intimidated because it's like, I was never able to accomplish what you accomplished at your age. At the age that you are right now, I was never able to accomplish this. And it's intimidating to them. It's like they feel inferior to you. And the three of cups, they want to get back into your good grace to learn from you. And it, like I feel like they're a little bit embarrassed to like kind of learn from you because you're younger. I really feel like you're younger, but you're very wise because we have the high priest here. That represents wisdom. What do people find intimidating about my pal number two spirit number two what <laughs> number one spirit what do people find intimidating about my pal number one spirit what do people find intimidating about my pal my pal i heard upright oh 
Lovers. What do people find intimidating about my pal? Wow. The Page of Pentacle and the Lovers again, because we had it in the other deck. The Page of Pentacle and the Lovers. And they came out at the same time. And both of them, wow. Yeah, you don't give a lot of yourself. You don't open up to people. So it's like, it's intimidating because it's like we never, they could never guess your next move. So these people are trying to calculate how you do what you do, how you learn what you learn. But you are so like uh, private that it's hard for them to read you. You're, you're also hard to read. So that's kind of like intimidating for them because it's like they can never guess your, your, like what you're going to do next. They can never outsmart you in a sense, okay? And like you're very intelligent. You have like um you have a duality to you because we have the lovers here is the um it's Gemini energy and Gemini is a dual sign. You have a duality to you, so you have a good mixture of a feminine and masculine energy in you. So whether male or female, you're in touch with your feminine side and you're in touch with your masculine side. It's not easy for people to have like a, able to mix those two energies because everybody has masculine and feminine energy whether male or female but some people are more on the masculine and some people are more on the feminine but you you have a good mixture of of the both so you have a logical side to you and an emotional side to you so that makes you like somebody like that's why you have a lot of wisdom you could understand emotion so you could relate to people emotionally so make which makes you somebody that's easy to get along with like even though you are like private that doesn't make you a rude person you know what i mean like just that it just means like you're private you're not going to open up to people and tell your your whole life story but you're still a decent human being and nice to people if people talk to you you're not going to be rude so you have a good balance you understand emotions right but you also have a logical mind you're very intelligent you're able to grasp concept and like able to teach as well because your friend is a teacher as well okay so that's why like you're that's why i'm saying you're wise beyond your years and these people are intimidated by that because it's like they're the one learning from you and not the other way around what do people find intimidating about my pal number one what do people find intimidating about my pal number one so we have new moon in virgo a time to give rather than take okay so you know when it's time to give you do you probably do like charity work and i feel like this is where your blessings come from this is the reason why you always get blessed in life that's like your secret i feel because you know that it's an exchange of energy. You know that everything in the world is an exchange. So if you give out, you will always get back what you give out. So you know that. You understand that secret. That's why you're, you have the high priest here. You understand that. You know when it's time to give. And I feel like these people, they don't understand that concept. That's why they're intimidated by you. They're intim intimidated by your mind. Your knowledge. And maybe you could be a Virgo here. Because this is new moon in Virgo. But you could definitely be an earth sign. Um, so you could be uh, a Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. Um, we have temperance, Sagittarius, or Leo. You don't have to be those signs. But you could just embody those energies. Okay? So yeah. Pile number one. That's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. As you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do people find intimidating about you, okay? So pile number two, if you pick the rose quote um, crystal, this is going to be your uh, reading, okay?
So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards so we don't pick up the energy from previous uh, piles. So we're going to smudge these bad boys and we're going to get started. So the first pile, um, the first uh, deck is the Crystal Tarot deck. The one in the middle is the Wider Wake. And this one is the Moonology deck, okay? So we're going to get started. Pile number two. What do people find intimidating about you? Pile number two. So what do people find intimidating about my pile number two spirit? What do people find intimidating about my pile number two? What do people find intimidating about my pile number two? Okay. We have the high priestess here. So we have the Page of Cups, the Hermit, the Tower, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so... What I'm getting here, I heard your forgiving heart. It's intimidating to people because it's like they can never um, rattle your cage. It's like, I feel like it's people that want to get under your nerve. But you stay so calm, cool, and collected that it makes them enraged. That's so weird. These people are weird. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what is intimidating. Because we have the Page of Cups is like forgiving, you know, like uh, apology. And the Hermit here is somebody like that's like very wise, that goes within to look for the answer. Somebody that steps away from the crowd, that keeps to themselves, that's not really all up in people's business. And the Tower here is like a powerful realization. And then here we have the Six of Cups, which also represents like uh, past life soulmates, uh, children, uh, childhood friends. But it could also represent like somebody who has like... Um, a childlike um, um, innocence to them. They're, and children, like, you know, they like to forgive, you know. they Like, you know, if you wrong them and you, you tell them, like, you know, you're sorry or whatever, they always say, it's okay, like, I forgive you. Like, they're able to forgive. And children are like that. Like, they don't hold grudges, right? So, Five of Cups is, like, regrets, sadness, sorrow, but that's not what I'm getting. They are the one that's in sadness and sorrow because they can't rattle your cage. And it's intimidating to you to to them because you're so powerful, you don't even let like anybody like let's say somebody like cuss out your mom, like say bad things about your mom, you're not gonna flinch. And they're gonna look like fools, they're gonna look like madmen, like let's say if they're like trying to cuss you in the streets, they will look like mad people. And it's like intimidating to them because it's like normally that type of behavior would get a reaction of out of people, right? Like nobody likes to have people cussing out their mom. Who likes that, right? But for you, you know how to be like, what is, what is this idiot doing? Like what is wrong with this person? And you're able to just walk past them like they don't even exist. And that's intimidating to people because it's like you have an immense power that it's like they can't break you. They can't rattle your cage. That's what I keep getting. And it's like, 
whoa, like this person is so powerful. Like, I can't believe it. Like, normally people would be in five of cups energy and you're not. You're just like, okay, well, I forgive you because I know you're a fool. I forgive you. I'm just going to keep it moving. Okay, I'm not going to waste my time. Next. What do people find intimidating about my pile number two? Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. The Ten of Pe uh, Eight of Cups. What did I just say? Eight of Pentacle, uh, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten, uh, ten of Pentacle. So you are abundant. People are intimidated by your work ethics. So that's even co-workers. Maybe we're co-workers at your job that try to get you, like maybe they're trying to like mess with you or trying to get you to react at work. And you don't even pay them no mind. You're all about your business. You all, because you have emotional intelligence. You have, you're highly intuitive because the queen of cups is like intuition. And also you have motherly instincts. So you probably like see these people like children to you. And it's like, it's easy for you to just move past them. And they find that so intimidating that you have like emotional intelligence. And you also have like wisdom. You have a good balance of like earth energy and water energy here. Because we have that earth energy. Pentacles is earth energy. And here is cups, water energy, right? You have a great balance of that. You could like build an empire, a castle by yourself because you have those elements in your chart. You, uh, you don't have to be, you don't have to have those elements, but you embody those energies, okay? Just remember, this is energy. It doesn't have to be specifically your chart. But this is the energy that you operated in. So these people are jealous of your, like, they, they're jealous of you and they're intimidated by your work ethic and your abundance that you could create for yourself and your emotional intelligence, especially your emotional intelligence. That's what I'm getting. Like, they can't rattle your cage. They can do whatever they want, act funny, make, make like, a, like snarky remarks and try to get under your, your skin. It doesn't work. You don't budge. You don't even give them a reaction. And for them, it's like, whoa, it's very intimidating because they can't read you properly. They don't know how to read you. They don't know how to read your energy. And I feel like you know how to protect yourself spiritually from people trying to invade your energy. So like, even if like we're, what they would say would be like really mean, it doesn't like affect you. The world, what do people find intimidating about my pal number two? What do people find intimidating about my pal number two? Wow. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the World, Temperance, and the Ten of Sword. So you have you always have great fortune that comes your way. No matter what curveball they throw at you, it's like a a, a boomerang back to them so let's say if they try to bring a ten of sword to you you don't budge because the temperance is here that's like balance Co cooperation but also alchemy because you see how they're like um the angel is like pouring two uh, like two elements it seems like it's two elements in like um the cup that they're mixing so you know how to like you don't fold under pressure, basically. That's why they find you intimidating because everything that they do, they try to give you a ten of sword. You don't budge. You don't even like react. You don't even retaliate because you know that the universe gets your back. You know that the like a judgment is going to be called on them. And you know that like the wheel of fortune is always going to turn in your favor. You don't have to do anything. The angels always fight for you. So you don't budge. And there's that's so intimidating to these people because if the world the world the world the roles were reversed so let's say if you were the one that's that were like tormenting them like making life hard at work i don't know why i keep going back to work i really feel like there's people at your job that are intimidated by you because i feel like they're trying to like get the position that you have or the promotion that you're about to get i don't know why i'm getting that maybe you're up for a promotion or up for a position and then your rival, whoever wants that position, is trying to like get you to react in a way that's going to discredit you for that position. But it's not working 
this these people that's why they're so intimidating because if you were the one doing that to them they would have reacted like in a negative way and that would have got them fired and they're so shocked that you are not reacting like that they're like wondering how come like you know most people they like they're so used to doing that so most people react in a certain way so because they're not getting the reaction that they want out of you it's intimidating they can't like they can't control you they can't manipulate you and for them it's so so shocking that you have strong like I, I feel like you have strong boundaries too. You like you limit your time with them. You don't spend your time in the same space. If you see them coming, like you kind of like go somewhere else. Or like if you could tell that they're trying to talk to you or come your way, you always like have an excuse to like dismiss, like dismiss yourself from the situation. You never like let them catch you like slipping. That's what I'm getting. They, they can never catch you slipping. And that's what's so intimidating about you. They can't play a game of chess on you. Yeah, the emperor, powerful. The page of one. What do people find intimidating about my pile number two, spirit? What do they find intimidating about my pile number two? What do people find? What do people find intimidating? Okay. So we have the emperor here, the page of wand, the devil, and the four of sword. Okay. So the emperor is here, somebody who is very powerful. You're able, you have a lot of self-control. That's what I'm getting, self-control and emotional control. You know how to like um, not let people get to you. So they can't, like I keep going back to, they can't read your face. So it's something about your face. Like they can never tell what you're feeling no matter what they, they throw at you. And I feel like also you smile at them. So that's what makes them like even more scared. Like they're more intimidated because it's like you're smiling while they're, they're like, like, you know, being mean and saying nasty things to you or like saying like on the backhanded compliments and you don't even like let it get to you. You probably like flip your hair. That's what I'm getting. Like you flip your hair. If you don't have like... If you're a man here, like, you just, like, okay, nod your head and keep it moving. Like, you don't even give them a time of day. That's what I'm getting. You don't even give them the time of day. You put things to rest. You have, like, a tunnel vision. Like, I know people always, like, I don't like to associate the devil with everything bad because the devil is not always bad, okay? Like, I know people would say, no, the devil's bad. No, not always. You have, like, a focus, like, an obsession with yourself. Like, not in a narcissistic way, but more, like, Yo, I have things to do. I have things to accomplish. I don't have time for you and your nonsense. Okay? Like, I have a goal that I have in mind. I'm trying to accomplish this goal. I'm not going to let you get in my in the way of my goals. Okay? I'm going to put things to rest. I'm not even going to give you the attention. You saying things about me is not hurting my feelings because those things are not paying my bills. This is what I'm getting. And people find that intimidating because it's like this person, it's like I can't rattle this person's cage. I can't even get into, I can't get on their nerves. And there's nothing I could do to take them off track. This person is so powerful, so grounded. And that's intimidating to them. Because like I said, if the roles were reversed, those people would have been like, you know, already like, trying to fight you and then probably like get the police involved you're not like that you're like oh that's what you're about all right okay bye that's what i'm keep getting bye block and delete i'm gonna keep it like i'm still gonna be nice to you i'm still gonna like you know if I, I work i see you in the hallway hi how are you have a good day okay bye like no no there's no you're not gonna ask me what i'm doing this weekend you're not gonna ask me like what i'm like what i'm having for lunch you're not going to ask me where I'm going. You're not, no, you're not going to have the chance to even get to that conversation with me. Okay. That's what I'm getting for you. Pile number two, you're, that's what makes like people intimidated by you. You're not, you're not about that rah-rah and that BS. Okay. You're not about that life. You mind your business. You do your thing. People come at you. They're trying to get you like rattle your cage. You, you could see that from miles away. So you could predict like, like people are so predictable for you. You're able to read them so easily because, like I said, you have emotional intelligence. So because of that, these people, like, you're ahead of them. They can't come for you. You already see them coming, so you already know how to prepare. So that's intimidating for them. 
They can't, like I said, they can't read you. What do people find intimidating? What did I say? Hold your vision. Fix moon. Hold your vision. You're not about that rara. You're not about that talk. Okay? All that talk, talk, talk? Nah. Nah. You put things to rest, okay? I have dreams. I have goals that I'm trying to accomplish. I'm not going to let you get me off my tracks. I'm laser focused. Okay? The devil is also about laser focus, obsession. Okay? It's not obsession. Sometimes it's not always bad. It depends on how you channel it. If you're obsessed of like getting your life together and getting your things together, that's good. That's not bad. It's really how you channel it. Okay? But you hold your vision. You don't let people get in your way. You don't let people come stress you. You're not going to come stress me with your demons, okay? You're going to keep them to yourself. Me, I'm going to work on mine, and I'm going to get where I need to be in life. If you're the one fighting your own demons, that's going to be on you, but you're not going to project that onto me. I already have mine that I'm working on. I already know what I need to work on. I'm going to focus on that, and you focus on yours. And that's what's making people intimidated by you. Okay, take a time out. Uh, take time to breathe out. Like I said, you have a great balance. Okay, you have a balance of earth energy and water energy. So you know how to like take breaks and replenish yourself. Okay, you don't let like things get to you, like overwhelm you. That's what I'm saying. These people, they can never read you. It's hard because you know how to, you have the healing power because hermit is also healing power, okay? Because Virgo is like the healer, the healer of the zodiac. So you have that in you. You know when to take time out. You know how to replenish. You know when it's time to like retreat. That's why these people, they cannot read you because you, they like, it's like, you know, like, let's say if they're about to come for you, you already know how to intercept that. And you know, already know how to remove yourself from the situation before they can even get the chance to come at you. Take time to breathe. Like, you know when it's like, okay, I know these people, they always want to bother me, always want to take jabs. Today, I'm not going to go to, um, like, the kitchen where we eat for, for lunch. I don't know, for some reason, maybe, like, you guys have a kitchenette or something like that at work. And you guys all sit at work and maybe you sit by yourself or what, like two, one or two people at your work. And these people are always at a big table talking, throwing jobs at people. Maybe you know like, okay, today I was not having a good day at work. I don't want to go in the kitchen for these people to get to me. So let me just go have my lunch outside or have my lunch in the car. You know how to do that. So that's why these people, they can never guess your next move. And it's intimidating for them. Okay. This is all I have for you, pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome back to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. As you guys could tell by the title of this video, it's going to be about what do people find intimidating about you, okay? So pile number three, you pick the aquamarine, oh no, sorry, not the aquamarine, the green aventurine. So this is going to be um, your reading, okay? So um, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. And if you are a newbie, welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is i like to smudge the cards before we get started so that way we don't pick up the energy from the previous uh pile so we're gonna start with the crystal tarot deck the wide awake and the moonology deck okay so this is going to be, what do people find intimidating about you? Well, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so what do people find intimidating about, about my pile number three spirit? What do people find intimidating about my pal number three? Oh, wow. Okay, some nice cards here. So we have 1010 10 here. So maybe you see that number often. So something better is coming along for you. So you always have like something better. You're on the right path. So they're intimidated by your abundance because we have the 10 of pentacle the ace of pentacle um the nine of one the seven of one and the ten of sword so people find it intimidated like what do they find intimidated about you is that you're you have like a strong like financial security about you. There's a strong financial security about you. You have your things together because the Ten of Pentacles is here. So maybe you come from a strong family, a family that's well established. So people don't want to mess with you because you have the Knight of Wands. So like maybe you have a lot of protection around you. You probably like I feel like maybe like I heard royalty. Maybe you like you have a strong like your family is well respected where you're from. Because Ten of Pentacles could also represents family. I don't know why I'm getting that. So, like, that's what's intimidating about you. Like, I feel like when you're, I heard your name ring bells. You know, when, when people say that, that means, like, people know of you and you have a high status. So, people don't want to mess with you. It's intimidating. Like, when you step into a room and it's like, I feel like, yes, you probably, I heard, like, a daughter or a son of a wealthy man. Or wealthy woman. Or you come from a wealthy family. Or a powerful family. Okay. That have connections. So when the Ten of Swords. Like when I'm saying connection. So they say somebody's trying to hurt you or something. They know that they're going to get reprimanded for it. Like they know that like there's somebody. Like people could not mess with you. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay. They know that if they try to accept you any kind of way, they know that like, yo, you have like either like some, some, <clears throat> okay. Some, some people that are going to come for, for them if they come for you. Okay. They know that that's, what's intimidating about you. That's, that's all I got to say. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Whatever it is, you come from a strong family. So that's like I said, your name ring bells. So people don't want to mess with you. That's what's intimidating about you. You are the son or the daughter of like a highly respected individual. That's what I'm getting. It's like somebody who's highly respected. So that's intimidating. And I could understand that. Like who would want to mess with you? Like if I know like you're, if I touch you, I'm, my hand is going to get chopped off. Like, hell no, bitch. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, you're from a high-ranking position. Even if you, you don't think, like, you come from a wealthy family, but your family is respected in the streets. Not, like, in, like, gang stuff like that. But it's, like, you maybe political. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> like, diplomat. That's what I'm getting, you know? And you're respected in, like, where you go, you have, maybe you walk with bodyguards or you have like your parents send like people to watch you to make sure nothing happens to you and you don't know about it. When you go with, out with your friends and your parents tell you, take like, take Johnny with you, the bodyguard. And you're like, no, I just want to be like normal, like everybody else. But then your parents go like, okay, okay, fine, go out. But they actually send somebody. You don't know that somebody's watching you. Like there's like some gangster, like <laughs> no, I saying gangster, but there's somebody like watching over you and you don't even know. So like, but people find that intimidating because they know that like you have strong protection in not, not only in the, like, I'm not only getting like, um spiritual world that's what I'm mostly I'm getting I'm getting in the physical world like they know you have strong protection because the seven of one is here like defensiveness okay and the ten of so this is what I'm getting and I'm getting it's more like your family and not really you I'm not saying that you don't have no connection or anything like that but I'm saying that your family has like a strong network of people that they know 
and people find that intimidating. Okay, there's a card. What do people find intimidating about my pal? Okay. So you see the seven of sword came out, the nine of pentacle, and the knight of pentacle. So people know they find it intimidating that because they can't be sneaky around you. They can't plot against you. They can't do nothing to you. You're untouchable. And you live a life of luxury. They're intimidated by the life that you live, the lifestyle that you live, like the the stuff, the type of stuff that you get to enjoy. Okay? You're like because I feel like your family also because I don't feel like your family is like um people that like they get their power by hurting other people. I don't get that. What I'm getting is that they have the reason why they're well known and respected is because of their work in the community. It's like maybe your great grandfather was somebody like very big that did a lot of great things for his community. And then he passed it down to your father, so on and so forth. So wherever you go, people respect you. Like, you know, when you walk into the store, people greet you with smile because of like who your family is. And these people are intimidated by that because they don't have that same kind of respect. Them, they have to do sneaky way. They have to like, you know, have, they have to be mischievous to get the type of like treatment that you get. Okay. They probably have to write on your name and say that you're, they're your cousin or something like somebody related to you in order to get that type of treatment. Okay. But you live a life of luxury. They're intimidated by that life that you live. The kind of treatment that you get, the respect that you get, how people are like open their arms to you. They're so like giving to you. You don't have to do much. Okay. You don't have to do uh, much to get what you, not like what you get, what you want, but like to like life is easier for you. Because of like what your family, your family paved the way for you. Okay. And they like actually work really hard. It's like, um, people with high esteem, with high integrity. Okay. Noble people. That's what I'm getting. That's the word I was looking for. Maybe you come from a noble family. Okay. And then that's why you're highly respected. And it's like intimidated to some other people because they don't get that same treatment. They're unable to walk in the streets and like, have uh, the same experience that you have okay people are you're like untouchable that's what i'm saying nobody could ever try to hurt you they won't want they won't even think like if they think that they're trying to be sneaky they they know they can't get away with it they know they're going to be met with a ten of sword they know it's not going to go into their favor if they ever try to step to you okay and it's very intimidating okay even if they try to hurt you they try they can't they know they can't it's like i feel like you're untouchable What do people find intimidating about my pal number three, Spirit? What do people find intimidating about my pal number three? What do they find intimidating about my pal number three? Okay, this card wants to come out. What do people find intimidating about my pal number three? Okay, okay so we have the page... Um, the Knight of Pentacle, Justice, and the Page of Sword. You see? There's always somebody watching you. The Page of Sword, I'm telling you. Like I said, even if you go out and about and like like go back to the story how you would ask your parents to go out with your friends or whatever or like you go out with your friends but you always have somebody watching you you always have like somebody not in like in a sneaky way but like in a protective way you're always protected because justice is always on your side okay i feel like like i'm saying you your family have a lot of connection in the community okay they know powerful people and because of that 
other people are intimidated by the power that your family have and they know that they cannot step to you. And it's like a threat to them as well because if they want to do bad things to you, they know that they can. It's like, they, and it makes them angry, okay? They, like, whatever they do is never going to fall through. It's always going to be like slow. It's never going to like be able to penetrate you. Whatever they try to do, whatever trap that they're trying to set on you, you always have justice on your side because there's always somebody watching you, watching over you, protecting you, okay? Like... You always have like somebody around, even if you don't know that they're watching you, your parents always like have an eye on you, whether you, whatever age you are, your parents, like they always like, you know, you know, like they always have their people like, yo, better watch my kid just to make sure like nothing happens to them. Like, you know, you know, people could be crazy in the streets. You never know. And you're and because of the family that you come from, you actually need that type of protection because you know, like people are crazy. Like, some people could do bad things to you, but you always have somebody watching you, protecting you. And it's intimidating to these people. And it's like, yo, what kind of people are these people? They're not nice. If they're, like, trying to plot against you. You see Ten of Swords. Trying to plot against you. That's not nice. What do people find intimidating about my pile number three? What do people find intimidating about my pal number three? Wow. Okay. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Pentacle. Okay. You're always like balance. You always have great fortune coming your way. And things are always balanced in your favor. Okay. No matter what happens to you, like no matter what situation, you always have things in your favor because of like the grace that you have in your family. Things are always balanced for you. You don't have to, you didn't really have to, um, you didn't have like a lot of struggle in life. That's what I'm getting because this, the wheel was always in your favor. Like you always had like fun. You always had like a stable life. Things were always stable for you. Both of your your parents are at home. So it's hard to like um, penetrate your circle. You have a strong like um, support system. Okay. And people find that intimidating because it's like you have things like that comes to you naturally. And also the people around you make sure that your life is comfortable. So you never really have to suffer or like, like try to like fight for anything Things always, always came to you. Okay? What do people find intimidating about my pal number three, Spirit? What do people find intimidating Okay. So a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries and bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. They're intimidating by the love that you get. And the fiery climax approaches, that's like the protection. Like pe people are fiercely loyal to you. And like fiercely, like the people that in your community, they're fiercely loyal to you. They're fiercely, they're going to come to your defense because fiery climax, that's like Aries energy. They're there. You have like a strong protection, a strong barrier that's like protecting you from any like body that's trying to harm you. You have that and it's intimidating to other people that like you have that strong, powerful connection and like you're so young. Like I feel like it's a young person that picked it or it doesn't have to be a young person. Okay. You could be like in your 20s. Uh, between uh, 20, 24 to 34, you could be around that age. And like people find it so like intimidating that you come from a strong family like that. And that like, I feel like you're humble about it. Like you don't try to like, you're not the type of person to be like, oh, my dad is so and so like, you don't, you, you don't abuse your power. And this is why you have a lot of love. People love you. Okay. You get a lot of love from other people and the connection that you have makes you like, um, easy for you to enjoy life okay you have an enjoyable life okay and people cannot like they cannot hurt you they know that 
people could not like even try. Like if they tried, they like I said, they will be met with a ten of sword. The protection that you have is unmatched. Okay. So this is all I have for you, pile number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.